Hello, this is Tony Heller from RealClimateScience.com. Climate Nexus says we're having a climate emergency. They say extreme heat has killed hundreds of people in Europe and temperatures could reach 113 degrees in Texas and Oklahoma today. English farmers are giving their chickens Gatorade. There are wildfires in Europe and temperatures in the London Underground were hotter than what is deemed safe for the transportation of cattle. So let's take a look at today's global temperature map. It is hot in Western Europe, but the global temperature anomaly is only 0.2 degrees and it's very cold in a lot of places like Antarctica. Alaska is cold, Siberia is cold, and it's cold in Moscow too. According to Climate Nexus, the climate is currently defined by Western Europe, Texas, and Oklahoma. During the summer of 2010, it was very hot in Moscow, and the press said that was proof of global warming. They said it was exactly what the experts predicted. But now that it's cold in Moscow, Moscow no longer represents the climate. Now the climate is represented by London, which is 99 degrees Fahrenheit and will be much cooler tomorrow. It may have gotten to 100 degrees in London today, which would make it just as hot as it was during the summer of 1911. And like the summer of 1911, the 100 degree temperatures were very short lived. But the heat wave of 1911 in Europe lasted for 70 days and killed 40,000 people in Paris alone. And on the other side of the Atlantic, the July 1911 heat wave killed thousands of people in New England. July 1911 brought the hottest temperatures ever recorded to New England. According to the Boston Globe, on July 4, 1911 it was 112 degrees in Maine and 110 degrees in New Hampshire. Temperatures that hot in New England are incomprehensible now. But Climate Nexus says Texas and Oklahoma could reach 113 degrees today and that's a climate emergency. So let's go back to this date in 1934. Nine states were over 110 degrees that day. Nebraska reached 117 degrees and lots of people were dying in the heat. The red dots on this map show all the locations which were over 100 degrees on July 19, 1934. And the pink dots show places over 110 degrees. We don't get hot weather like this in the United States anymore. Prior to the year 1980, Oklahoma used to see a lot of temperatures over 110 degrees. But they're very rare now, so when they do happen, Climate Nexus can claim it's a climate emergency. According to the official U.S. government National Climate Assessment, heat waves in the United States were much worse prior to 1960. Summer afternoon temperatures averaged much higher in the United States prior to 60 years ago. And the frequency of 100 degree days was also much higher, with the last really hot summer occurring more than 40 years ago. Europe has also seen much hotter weather as reported by the New York Times on June 23, 1935. They reported 127 degrees in Spain, and the Minneapolis Star reported 131 degrees in Spain during 1966. What Climate Nexus is attempting to do is demonize fossil fuels by misinforming the readers about climate, weather, and history. They're trying to create a superstition that hot weather is caused by the use of fossil fuels and that using renewable energy would make everybody safe again. This climate superstition has been going on for as long as people have been gossiping about weather. This week in 1906, The Morning Oregonian reported, Whenever an unusually hot season is upon us, sweltering humanity talks about the changes in climate and shakes its head in a foreboding fashion. But let no one feel that he has seen the worst. There have been many superlatively hot waves in different parts of the globe and in different centuries. For example, in 1809, so fearfully hot was it in Spain that the streets of Madrid and other cities were deserted, while laborers expired in the fields and the vines were scorched and spoiled. The summer of 1772 was a dreadful one in New York, and it is related that the principal thoroughfares resembled battlefields in miniature. People were struck down by the score, no fewer than 155 cases of sunstroke occurring on July 4th, of whom nearly one half died. The following year in France, the thermometer rose to 118 degrees Fahrenheit. 
Then the article went on to describe lots and lots of extreme heat waves and droughts in Europe over the past thousand years. Climate Nexus is doing what snake oil salesmen have always done. They're offering an imaginary cure to an imaginary problem. And they're doing everything they can to misinform the public about science and history. And by the way, the London Underground gets unbearably hot every time they have a hot day during the summer. Toto's been pulling back the curtain on scamsters like Climate Nexus for the past 14 years. You can visit him, Kyrie Caesar, Toki, and Upla on the web at realclimatescience.com.